is Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today I'm going to show you how to encode up to 8K footage while still wrapping as an MP4 which is honestly the best kind of encoding for web formats as it is low in size but high in quality. Now previously the H.264 format which is the encoder used inside of um, MP4 files has a limit width wise of 4096 pixels. Um, I have some footage here shot on a red camera which is about 8000 pixels wide um, but obviously Obviously, most places and things online like Facebook and YouTube and things like that don't accept raw R3D files um, as an input. Um, so you have to re-encode this. Now, I'm going to use a uh, codec called H.265, which is the next step on from H.264. So I'll just show you H.264. You can see the maximum width is 4096, and it's going to deliver that at a reasonable, very good, in fact, file size of 21 megabytes in size. However, 4096 is the maximum width. If you want to go further than that, you need to use H.265 or HEVC, which stands for High Efficiency Video Codec. This allows you to compress even further your file size whilst growing the physical size of the video exponentially. You can see that the default width of this video now matches what the original was, which was 8192. Um, you can even push it slightly further than that, but we have an estimated file size of 15 megabytes, which is insane. So H.265 rather um, is basically the next step for web video uh, codecs of just incredibly low file sizes at incredibly high resolutions. Now obviously it's going to compress it a touch more than if you use something a bit more uncompressed than that but for the sake of web videos, streamable videos in 8k format this is perfect, it's all you need. So HEVC H.265, I'm going to leave it on a match source at high bitrate, render at maximum quality and depth um, and we can leave the time interpolation on frame blending. Uh, doesn't really affect this because we're not changing any um, frame rates or things like that. So if I just hit OK and show you what that's going to do, let's put this down into, uh, let's put it on our desktop. Okay, so our video has finished encoding. It took a little while, but as you can see, we now have a 16 megabyte uh, video file that is 8,196. 92 pixels wide, uh, perfect, ready for uploading to YouTube, Facebook, whatever media platform you want that supports it. It's worth noting that Windows Media Player and even QuickTime on Mac and stuff won't be able to play this by default because they don't have the codex, so you'll probably want to go and download something like VLC Player or something like that. But that is all there is to it. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you all next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.